This is Tessa Bensoulin with your News in 90. Second Amendment advocates march with their guns and rifles to protest gun reform in one North Central Florida community. More than 200 people marched through Ocala's downtown square to Tuscawilla Park on Saturday. Participants marched in response to last month's March for Our Lives event in Washington, D.C. for more gun control. Some marchers carried home main signs, including one that read, Gun-Free Zones are Free Fire Zones. According to an organizer, more marches are being planned across Florida. One of those marches is planned for Gainesville this summer. Florida Governor Rick Scott has announced he is running for U.S. Senate. Scott will be challenging incumbent Democrat Bill Nelson for a seat after making the announcement this morning. Scott announced his campaign during an interview and over various social media accounts. The race is expected to be one of the most competitive and likely the most expensive in history. President Donald Trump has publicly encouraged Scott to run, but Scott did not mention him in his announcement. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg apologizes for what he calls mistakes in data disclosure to outside sources. This comes after news broke that the data firm Cambridge Analytica reportedly accessed information from about 50 million Facebook users without their knowledge. Zuckerberg released a statement saying it's clear that they weren't doing enough to protect their users. He also says Facebook has a responsibility to make sure this does not happen again. Zuckerberg is set to appear at a congressional hearing on Tuesday. That's your news in 90, but your Florida news is always on at WUFT.org.